Today we are outside Saratoga Springs in Stillwater, New York, where Fog of War, the brilliant undefeated two-year-old, campaigned by Peter Brandt and trained by Chad Brown, will begin his new career at stud at Quest Royal North. Fog of War was a horse we'd followed for pretty much his entire career. He was a precocious two-year-old, uh, maiden special weight winner in Saratoga for Mr. Brandt and Chad Brown. And in the second start, he ran in the grade one summer stakes up at Woodbine. Um, pretty tough spot. Uh, top of the stretch, he was boxed in and looked like he was hopelessly gonna get beaten. And he just snuck through and ran up the outside of uh, eventual Preakness winner, War of Will, and, and, and one going away. And it was pretty impressive to end the season two for two as an undefeated two-year-old, which is important to what we're trying to do for Cossidy. Fog of War was a $400,000 Keeneland Book One yearling. His mother, Say, was a group stakes winner, group one stakes placed. Uh, she's just 10 years old. All three of the foals out of Say are by Warfront, and all three of them are stake stakes winners themselves. The second dam was a phenomenal race mayor here in New York for years, uh, Risk Averse by Dynaformer, who made over $2 million. Warfront has really, to me, become a very exciting sire of sires. You know, the Factor has been a very good, honest racehorse sire. Um, Declaration of War just had a Breeders' Cup winner this year. He's got a lot of young horses in the pipeline, and as I said, he's already established himself as a honest sire of sires. After his two-year-old form, um, we made an inquiry to Mr. Brandt a little later this fall. We're able to negotiate a deal with him and uh, my partner, Chris Larson, and Mr. Brandt owned the horse together and decided the horse would stand here in New York uh, about three weeks ago now. When we were able to negotiate a deal with Mr. Brandt, uh, who's also gonna be sending a significant number of mares from Kentucky in full to Demarchelier, to breed to him. Uh, we went to Keeneland and Mr. Larson bought 31 mares at the Keeneland November sale, specifically for the horse. Um, sire lines that have worked well with Warfront. At this point, we've got 75 in-house mares that are gonna be going to Fog of War. So I don't believe there's been a horse that's had that opportunity right off the racetrack with that volume of in-house horses, as well as we're gonna be selling a limited number of lifetime breeding rights to the horse, so I, I project the horse will land up somewhere between 125 and 135 for his first book next year. I've been really impressed with the way Fog of War is handled uh, coming in off of the racetrack. You know, we've had quite a few showings and he's come right into the breeding shed, stands up like he's been in doing this his whole life. And we're really excited to get him turned out in big field and let him do his thing and the breeding shuttle open in a few weeks.